In the previous video, I already introduced you to this site, colab.research.google.com. And I mentioned that I decided to create this entire course through uh, colab.research.google.com. Now, the reason why I decided to do that is that I believe that the future of scientific computing is in the cloud. And the reason is that as time goes on, we are working with ever larger and ever more complicated data sets and the kinds of analyses that we are doing are becoming ever more sophisticated. So that means I think it is unreasonable to expect that all of the data analyses you will need to do in the future can be done or should be done locally on your laptop or on your desktop. Instead, I think a much better approach, a much more scalable and future-proof approach is to uh, work on a cloud where you can access better computational resources through your computer. So your computer isn't actually running all the Python code. Your computer is just a browser that gives you access to the cloud, which is actually running all of these you know, high-performance uh, CPUs and GPUs. Okay, so when you go to colab.research.google.com, you will see a screen that looks something like this. Now, in the previous video, we just ignored this. And, uh, but I do encourage you now to take a moment to scroll through, see what Google has to say about using Colab. You don't need to worry about going through all of this stuff line by line, but uh, there are, you know, there is a lot of information that's in here. Now, you don't actually need to go through this information. In this course, I am going to teach you everything that you need to know. But there is, uh, you know, you might find it interesting to read more about, uh, yeah, whatever, <laughs> any of these uh, particular topics. As I mentioned, this is not necessary. This is just FYI. When you are ready to start, you can uh, select File and New Notebook. Now, also, as I mentioned, you will need a Google account to be able to use the Google Colab resources. So if you have a Google account, then you can sign in. If you do not have a Google account, then first of all, I, I, don't, I haven't met anyone in 20 years who doesn't have a Google account. But anyway, you can create your own Google account. It's free, it's easy, it takes very little time to set up. So you can create a Google account just for this course. Now, it's not necessary to have a Google account. That is to say, you need a Google account to access Google Colab, but you can go through this course without using Google Colab, and I'm going to tell you about that in the next video. But assuming that you already have a Google account or you can create a new one just for this course, then you will also have access to what's called Google Drive. And this is the website for this is drive.google.com. And Google Drive is basically like your, your remote hard disk storage space. So when you sign up for a free Google account, Google gives you 15 gigabytes of space for free. If you want more space, you can buy more storage, but you certainly don't need to for this course. For this course, you need maybe 80 to 85 megabytes. So much, much smaller than, uh, than, what, than the capacity that Google gives you. So Google Drive is, uh, yeah, well, it's like a, a file browser. You can use this uh, website like a file browser. So you can right-click uh, in this area. You can create a new folder, for example, to help you organize the material. Oops, I meant to write part one. Let's see, I will rename this, rename to part one. There you see how easy it is to rename. And uh, so to create a new Google Colab Python file, you can also right-click and then select more, and then scroll down and then look for the icon for Google Collaboratory. And that will open up a new uh, file like this, like this, here you see. And up here on the top left, by default, it's gonna be called Untitled, but we can rename this. So for example, I will call this File Data Types because that's the first thing that we are going to learn about in part one. We'll learn about data types. So yeah, then you know you start uh, typing in uh, in Python code just like what you will see in the videos. Now you can keep this file on your Google Drive. That's totally fine. Or you can also click on File. You can uh, download this file locally to your computer as a notebook file or as a raw Python file. If you have a GitHub account, you can 
uh, automatically transfer the file to your GitHub account, although you don't need to worry about that for this course. We, we're not going to interface with GitHub in this course. And then if we go back here, we can see that this is called data types. And now actually, I meant to put this in part one. So I'm just going to click and drag, and that automatically moves that file into the folder part one. So uh, just last thing I want to mention is, so I told you to right click and then you can create these files here. You can also press new, this button new here, and you get exactly the same menu option. Okay, so that is for using Google Colab through a Google account. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up your computer if you want to run the, um, the material for this course locally on your computer instead of in the cloud.